Okay, so today I'm back after about four years. I'm going to do my top spring fragrances for this year of 2024. Um, now I've just picked up some new fragrances and it's been a couple of years since I've bought some fragrances. Um, some new ones. So we'll start off with one of the new ones that I just got, which is amazing. Uh, this is Mont Blanc Individual Tonic. This, um, I believe it, it's came out in 2022. Um, the so Fragranica says 2018, it was a mistake, and they got the notes wrong in it. Uh, but there's the notes. This is a tester. This was only $22, which is an amazing price for this. Uh, this is a beautiful fragrance. A lot of reviewers didn't like it, which I don't understand why, because this is an amazing fragrance. This is such a good fragrance. It's woody. It's green. It's a little soapy. It's just a beautiful fragrance. And there's this guy, Robbie X on Fragranica, that his reviews are always good. And I knew when I read his review about this that this was a good one to get because he gave it a rave review. And I got this yesterday in the mail. And I sprayed it and I fell in love instantly. It's woody. It's got some pineapple in it, which gives it a sweetness, but not overclawingly sweetness like the new fragrances. It's very woody, soapy, a little fruity, fresh. It's very beautiful. It's a such a nice, lovely fragrance. And I'm, it's one to really enjoy in spring and probably even summer too. It's just such a nice green, woody fragrance. It's very... Generally, for a new fragrance, it's one that's done right. This is definitely one that's going to be loved by people that love more masculine scents, that love stuff that's not overly sweet and cloying. This is one that you definitely need to pick up and you can get a tester. Like I said, I got this tester for $22, so you gotta check it out. So this is my, this is my first one. So I'm going to do five that are uh, easy to get right now, and five that are more rare. So this is this is the first one of the five that are easy to get, and of the four um, of the five that are easy to get, four of them are brand new that I just picked up. Um, so let's go into the next one. We have Aqua. Pino. Now this is a beautiful fragrance. This I just picked up too because I have a budget now. If I'm going to buy fragrances, it's only going to be a hundred dollars a month and nothing more, nothing less because I have hundreds of bottles and I don't need a ton of new stuff. I just want a few things here and there that I think are good. And so Aqua de Pino. I love the house of Pino Sylvester. And this is a citrusy, woody pine scent. It's so beautiful. It's like oh, walking through a pine forest in spring. Just fresh, beautiful, masculine. It's so good. It's just amazing. This was love at first sniff. This is amazing. I wore it the other day and I couldn't stop smelling myself. It was just and it says it's a clone, but it projects like an EDT. It's very strong for a cologne. And if you spray a little bit on your shirt, it'll last for 12 hours or more. It's just so amazing. So we have Aqua de Pino. Okay, next we have another House of Pino because I love Pino Sylvester. And like I said, I don't really like buying fragrances that are very expensive. I like to find the most bang for your buck. Because this is what you need to do. Find the most bang for your buck and find what you love. And I always try to do that. And some of my fragrances have become discontinued and worth hundreds of dollars now, which is crazy. That Because I picked them up for, you know, I always try to pick up stuff under $50. $50. So, we have... Italian Citrus by Pino Sylvester. 
This is a nice citrusy woody scent. And there's a little bit of hint of the pine, but it's mostly citrus and woods. And this is a beautiful scent. It's very Italian. It's very beautiful. And that's Italian citrus, Pinot Silvestre. This was another love at first sniff. So these three new fragrances, they were just, they just blew me away. I was like, wow. They blew me away. And next we have, this is one that I've had for a few years. And it's a green fragrance, a very green fragrance. You can see it's a tester bottle. It's the notes on there. It's Paul Smith Men, and this came out in 2000. And this is a beautiful green woody fragrance. And it's very grassy, like to, from the vetiver. It's just very, mm, it's, it's fresh, it's green, it's woody. It's, it's just spring in a bottle. It's so beautiful. So that would be Paul Smith Men. And you can find this for under $30 on eBay still. Um, I think it's still in production, but it's still a cheapie. You can find it out there for cheap. Uh, I've looked and seemed to be reasonably priced still. And now for this fifth one, you can still find this. But I opted with a vintage bottle when I bought it. Um, because they reformulated it. So this is going to start to go into the more rare stuff. This is Hugo Energize. This is a nice citrusy, uplifting fragrance. This is a beautiful fragrance. I, I had a bottle of this. I don't know what happened to it. I think some a couple of my bottles got stolen because it's a couple of bottles missing. And I think they got stolen and move in a couple of moves or misplaced or whatever, but this is a beautiful fragrance. This is citrusy. This is amazing. It's so citrusy and manly and it's uplifting. You spray it on and you feel energized, just like the name of it. It's so beautiful. It's so energizing and uplifting and it's perfect for the warmer spring days. Summer, you can wear it in summer too. You can actually wear this all year long. It's very strong. And I don't know why people don't give this good reviews because they're idiots. This is an amazing fragrance by Hugo Boss. I love this fragrance. This was, this again, just at first spray, it was love. This is just a beautiful fragrance. It's just so citrusy and energizing and uplifting. And it's just amazing. It's an amazing fragrance. So amazing. So... And it's been reformulated. It's been reformulated. But if you... I got this vintage bottle for only 35 bucks on eBay. So there are vintages out there. I don't know how what the new reformulation smells like. I don't really want to know. And I was tied between getting Hugo Boss, Energize, or Hugo Boss in motion. And I decided to go with Energize because I really loved it. And in motion, it's supposed to be orangey, but I like this because it's more citrusy. And it's just, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So beautiful. And now we're going to go into the more rare stuff or more expensive stuff. Uh, so let's go with a house that I'll probably never buy another fragrance from again because of the prices have gone way up. You can't find bottles for cheap anymore. Uh, this is Guerlain. And this is La Ubose. And this is a beautiful woody fragrance. It's so beautiful. I love the House of Guerlain. They make really good fragrances. But I, when, when I was looking for new fragrances, I noticed the prices went shot way up can't find anything for under $90 online anymore and you used to be able to get testers for like 35 to 40 bucks but now the prices are so expensive so I'm glad I have like this girl on home La Blase and the original girl on home 
and the Hobbit Rouge and Hobbit Rouge Sport and the Ideal Cologne. These are really good fragrances and I have some vintage Shalimars and Shalimar and some other ones and I'm glad I have them but I will probably never buy another Guerlain scent again because I don't like spending more than actually more than $40 on a fragrance. It's really pushing it. It has to really be 35 or under. So that's Girl on Home, the Blase, the beautiful woody fragrance. And now next we're going to go with one that is also expensive, but I got it on a deal. When Fragranica used to sell used tester bottles on eBay. This is a beautiful English fragrance. This is Pent Heligan's English Fern. This is spring England in a bottle. This is classic scent. This is very elegant, very classic, very beautiful, bit barbershoppy. This is a beautiful fragrance. I really love this fragrance. And as you can see, it used quite a bit for me with all the bottles I have. So this English for a beautiful spring English fragrance. And this, I believe you can still get it, but when I looked, the prices were over $90. Some were even in the hundreds. I'm like, whoa. So it's probably the only Pen Helligans I'll ever own. And I love it because English Fern. And here's one that used to be cheap and now it's expensive because it's discontinued. And this is, this is Fendi. Now I bought both of these when they became discontinued when they're still cheap as Chester's. This is the blue one. This is perfect for spring and summer. So it's for the warmer spring days. This is a beautiful fragrance. This is spicy, woody, uh, citrusy. Come on camera, focus. I don't know if you can see it. It's his first fragrance. And this has bergamot, pink pepper, and cedar wood. And there's probably some other notes in there, but those are the main notes. And this is a beautiful woody, woody, spicy, citrusy fragrance. It's perfect for the warmer spring days and summer days. And I really like the yellow version of this, which is more fall and winter. So if you can find these, I'm sure they're super expensive now. I haven't even looked, but I know they're discontinued. But this is a great one. Really good. This is spraying on and this just puts you in a good mood. It's spicy. It's woody. It has a little bit of citrus in the opening. It's really well-made fragrance. I really love it. It's very beautiful. Very beautiful fragrance. So, uh, yeah, and it's amazing how some of these fragrances I picked up for like 25, 30 bucks, they're now hundreds of dollars. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy how, how these prices go for these discontinued fragrances. It's just amazing. And I looked at this one fragrance that I have that's discontinued, which is Pinot Sports. And it's going for over $200 on eBay now. It's crazy. Now here's the next one. We have Aramis Gentleman. This is a fresh, woody, spicy fragrance. It's a... I believe I picked this one up at TJ Maxx really cheap. And this is just continuing now. And I believe the prices are outrageous on this too. This is a classy, elegant gentleman's fragrance. It's very... Very nice, very classy, very nice. I really love the House of Aramis. This is such a beautiful fragrance. Really love it. So that's Aramis Gentleman. Check it out if you can happen to find it. I don't recommend paying those hundreds of dollars unless you really, really want it. Um, if you can find it cheap, find it cheap. And here's the last one, which is a masterpiece in my opinion. It is 
the best out of the line ever from this line. And we're talking about the jeans line by Versace. This, everybody talks about blue jeans, red jeans, blah, blah, blah jeans. I've had blue jeans, red jeans, metal jeans, baby jeans, and this is the best one from the line. This is perfect for spring. This is so green. This is Versace green jeans. This is a masterpiece. This is discontinued now, hard to find. It is so lovely. It is so beautiful. It is so amazing. You have to get it if you can find it for cheap, but you probably can't. So I'm sorry, but I love it. That's why these last five are the hard to find. But these are the ones that I'm going to be loving this spring. So... There you go. That's my top 10 for spring of 2024. It's crazy. It's 2024. I've been on YouTube now for 10 years. Can you believe it? I mean, I took a break for four years, but it's been 10 years. All right. And a lot of uh, fragrance collecting in all those years. And all these bottles have just gone crazy rare now. So there you have it. Green jeans. Aramis Gentlemen, we got Fendi, Fendi Fendi, the blue one, Pat Halligan's English Fern, Girl on Home, La Blase, yes. Now the ones that you can find easily in the top five. And we're going to go with the Hugo Energize Paul Smith Men. And these are the top three. We got Italian Citrus. Aqua Di Pino is number two. And this is my number one, top one. So beautiful. Mont Blanc Individual Tonic. Thank you. Have a good day. Leave a comment, like, subscribe. And if you are looking for any perfumes, I have many that I want to sell. Um, just contact me. I have a lot of women's fragrances that I'm trying to sell. Um, let me know if you're looking for it. I'll see if I have it. Um, because I have six bins of stuff that I love that I'm keeping. And there's about four bins of stuff that's just it's nice, but I'm not into women's fragrances anymore. I like masculine fragrances. All right, thank you. Take care. Have a good day or evening, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.